What do you see? You will be amazed. Come on. So ladies and gentlemen, I am going into the Fernandez, Sarah Fernandez Heritage Home and where we will meet the dashing young man who's been looking after this amazing house, Mr. Ranjeev Fernandez. Come with me and don't move your eyes because there are certain things here in this place which are amazing. Come on, let's see about. Hi Ranjeev. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning and happy sure. feast to you. Happy New Year. Yes, thank yeah, you so welcome. much. This so late. Happy also, Vincent. Oh, Paul hi, happy feast to you. Yes. Very yes. nice. This is Vincent Paul, my brother's son. Okay, welcome. that's very nice. Yeah. You didn't go for the feast? No. Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, yes. this gentleman over here single-handedly takes care of this huge house. Though, yes, he is supported by everybody from his family. There are quite a lot of things here, which I'm sure he is going to show you, uh, but excuse me, I'm not going to show you everything because if I show you everything, then you will not come to his house. But I'm going to show you certain things, which, is, which are so good. It has made me come back to this house again and again and again to see the smile of this young man over here. Okay. This is Ranjiv. So Ranjiv, yeah. Bab, can you tell us yeah something about this house first, when this house was built a, and... A good question what you asked me. This is like a very old house, which was like during the two times. Mm -hmm. One during the Portuguese time, okay. and one during the Indian time. Okay, and after this, liberation. Yeah, after liberation.
happened in South Goa. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let us find out from Anna and her friend what they like the best in Goa during their stay. What did you like the best? I suppose uh, we find very tasty bakery in Lotalim. It's not far from here. <laughs> You're and talking then... about the Zilla Bakery. Yeah. Yes.
Follow these foreigners inside and see where they are. Oh my god, where are they? Where have they gone? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. This is how they escaped earlier. Let us also go down and see. Let's follow Ranjeev. Come. Mind your head as you come down. Look at those you. gun holes where they could shoot from inside. Look at an angle and you can see the light through. Some of them would hide over here with some gun holes. Another gun hole. Another gun hole. This is the position as it comes down to the steps. First, second, third. So, ladies and gentlemen, what Ranjiv is trying to tell us is this was initially a Hindu house. We are talking about 1600s. Later on, when the Portuguese took over and they constructed something, they created a room over here. But the construction is not something what I'm going to tell you about now. But I'm going to tell you about this whole now this is a place where they would put the gun and if any intruder came there, they would shoot him. And not only one, but there are one, two and three. So they could shoot him at any different angle. And you see how short this room is. Now you can see, you can see the enemy coming like a, a person is standing outside and he looks to take a gun and then he would shoot. Look now and look at the angle, you can see him at an angle. And then there was a tunnel further down to go to the river. As I told you, there's a river behind my house. Yeah. So you could go back to Russia, back to St. Petersburg by the tunnel. And no jokes, I'm telling I try to look you the map and I show you the map. Yeah, okay. yeah. And this is the chain now to measure the distance. Now we got to measure the length in meters, only by chain. Two chains, three chains, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay. Measure the distance. Now we got to measure. Measurements like uh, yeah. pace in meters, a little bit like chains. Mm -hmm. And you find yourself cool because it's a smart house. Once you go upstairs, you find the difference. Okay. And these are the old kerosene lamps to this, putting kerosene oil and lighting. There was no power supply, you know, kerosene, gasoline. Yeah, I see. Yeah. In the old days, there were a lot of kerosene. You would go into kerosene and light up. We have to still to know, it has been very long, long, long ago. We had been ruled by many dynasties, as I told you. They were ruled by two Chalukas, Bojas, Kilara, Naski, and Vikadamba. So, which dynasty has done covered up this whole thing? Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. They had a door which can be closed over here so the enemy could not come. They had another door which you could close and the enemy could not come. And these are the locking system called as Adamo. They would pull the door and then this whole thing would come up and the door would be locked. So this is the Adamo. And now you can see how we can go up.
just uh, like a work room. And these are the weapons. The swords to fight. See how heavy the swords get. I feel like one of the kadam. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it. This is an actual sword, huh? Yeah, this is an actual sword. See how heavy it is, that they strong people, no? And now, you know, like, you know, we have bones, so then we have the shell windows. This was brought by the Portuguese. Portuguese. This yeah. was not uh, before Portuguese. See, and then I take you to the map where I was telling you that the river. Yeah. So, this is the local map of Goa. Benjim is over here, the commander is over here. Yeah. This is the river's part. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can see a lot of very, very priceless antiques in this house called as the Waldengor in Chandor. You must find time to come over here and see this because in this house there is a tunnel in a cupboard and in a cupboard there are so many shelves. There are so many beautiful, exquisite chandeliers. The carved furniture is amazing. And it is hardly a little stone's throw away from the stone of Kars and also the ruins of the Mahadev temple. This house was right in the middle of the Kadamba fort. And just behind this, they have excavated a wall of the original fort. The reason why the Kadam shifted from here to Goa Vella or at Gopaka Patan was that the river Kushavati dried up. Here there are legends. Legends that when the queen who came and came to know that the entire family was murdered, it is said that the ladies from here, they were very rich. They threw all their gold into the river Kushavati. And the folk legend again goes that on a full moon night, sometimes these ornaments get washed onto the shores. Now, ladies and gentlemen, don't make an attempt to go and find it. But yes, there are places there are times when they find pieces of gold over here. So you can make out how rich it is. But today, you can be rich by coming to the Sara Fernandez house or the Wadlengor and seeing all this so beautiful, really very, very beautiful. Don't miss an opportunity. Come over here and you will require at least about one and a half hour to two hours to see this house. You can see me with my cameraman and if you want any information about this or you would like to tell something to us, please write to us on the email that you see over here. We love to hear from you. Such huge palatial bone houses are getting lesser and lesser. See them. See what they hold. Bring your children, my Goye and my team always tries to get things for you which are lesser known to you. Make use of it. And with that, let me say bye to you from my Goye till we meet again.